Hello, welcome agents. It is a pleasure to be speaking with you today. My name is Sean, and today we're going to be talking about the Agent Setup Wizard. Yet, very simple to do. This is the most important feature that you can set up in your account. And you know you only have to set this up once. Once it's set up, you can do things like go back and monitor it and make sure things are running the way that you, you want them to be. But going through the agent setup wizard automates all of your personal information and tools so that circle picks can run at its peak performance providing you with all of these tools that you see here it all comes down to more leads as we go through this information today i'll explain how these benefits will take place first off you can see on your screen here is a postcard it's simple right but my picture is on the postcard. Going through your agent setup wizard will do things like making sure that you have a picture on your marketing materials. Here's my property site. We use the property site to advertise your listing to all the social media sites, homes.com, realtor.com. And if your picture's there, it looks a lot better for you. Your social media is tied in with your property site. You can even have a biography of yourself written up. And those are some of the things that you do going through the agent setup wizard. You can even have a video commercial of yourself appear on your property site. And those things, once again, are taken care of in the setup wizard. Look at this, extremely important. Your social media that we manage for you. Articles that we put content that we put on your social media site has to be set up in the setup wizard. Listings, having your listings post to your social media and other agents listings post to your social media all goes through the setup wizard. So now let's just get right to it. I'm going to show you how to set this up. First, you will go to circlepix.com. You will log into your circlepix account by clicking login then you will enter your username and password. Most of the time that's your email address. Your password is um, also designed 1234 to help you log into your account. Now, if you need help logging into your account, please call us. Don't hesitate. We'll help log you into your account and we'll get you going through the setup wizard. Do you see right here under manage account? This is where you do this tool social media setup you click on that and then what you're going to do next is connect your social media and you think it would be harder more difficult than this but watch all you do to connect your facebook page click connect it connects to my facebook page it's very important that you were the last person to log into facebook before you click connect because let's say a spouse or a friend was logged into a social media page like one of these or and you click connect, you're gonna to connect to their social media page. So just make sure that you were the last person that was logged into Facebook before you click connect. Also, your Facebook business page will show up. Whatever social media pages you have under Facebook that belong to Facebook will show up. And you can choose which ones you want us to post to. You can set up, I would set up Twitter if I were you. I would set up LinkedIn. This is going to include us putting articles on these social media websites, it's going to include putting your own listings there and other listings of other agents there. It This tool that you have is truly amazing. Once you've connected these things, click continue. Then you will put in the counties where you work. This is going to help us share listings from those counties and cities of other agents listings from within your brokerage to your social media. So if you don't want any listings coming from a certain city, you can get rid of that city. But first you'll change this to county. You'll put in a county here. The cities will appear. Get rid of the cities you don't like. It's simple as that. You can put in multiple counties, not all at once, but uh, as you put in multiple counties, you'll see their cities appear over here. Then click continue. On the next screen, this is all about the content that we post to your social media. 
These are articles that we post. These articles are interesting. They are about things that people want to read. We allow you here at CirclePix, we will post four articles a week to your social media. The most popular days of the week are Thursday and Friday. So I would select those for sure. And then I have two other days selected. Then choose the content that you want us to post about. I would choose all of the content. It's friendly. Uh, guess what our most popular content that we post is? Food. People love to read about food. I have a food story. I was in a training once in Florida. And this lady was a chef. She was a, a cook. She took pride in her, her cooking. And she said, oh, I'm so mad at you guys. She said, you guys put an article about corn dog casserole on my Facebook page, and I would never make that. I said, oh, I'm so sorry. Now you can avoid that situation, and I'll teach you how. But yeah, I would select all of these topics. You will see that people will start commenting to you in person about your articles. Our goal is to have social media interactions become in-person real estate transactions. That's the whole goal here. And this will keep people coming back to your social media. Then click continue. On the next page, it's holiday greetings. You get to choose what holiday greetings we're going to post for you. You can choose religious and non-religious holiday greetings. You can even sample the holiday greetings, but you will see that they are very popular. Then click continue. On the next screen is your personal listings. Tell us how often you would like us to share them. I recommend sharing your listings to your personal page at least once a month. I recommend sharing to your business page weekly. If people are going to your business page, they want to look at your listings. Click continue. On the next page, marketplace listings. These are other agents listings from within your brokerage. I would want one listing a day. We will put one listing a day on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. You get to even choose the dollar amount of those listings. So if you chose $15,000, for example, no listings under $15,000 would go to your Facebook page. I chose $250,000 here. You just need to do what you feel is you want to do for your area. Then it'll let you look and see where those listings are coming from. These are only listings from within your brokerage. Click continue. Imagine though, before I click continue, imagine if you're in a listing presentation and you tell the homeowner, not only is your listing going to be on my Facebook page, it's going to be on all the agent's Facebook page in my office. We're all trying to sell your listing for you. It, it works quick. It is, it's awesome. On the next page, you're just going to upload a headshot. So all you do here is click upload new photo, find your photo, click on it. Oops, I went a little fast there. Click on it and it will make your photo appear. Click next. You're one step closer to success. Click on that orange button there and just make sure that all of this information here is correct. If you need to have a state license, put your state license in. This information comes from the MLS. If we have your state license, it'll be in there. If not, you'll need to add it. Add whatever else you need. If these boxes down here are filled in, if Facebook is filled in, that means you've connected it. Pinterest, you can connect Pinterest. You can, well, Pinterest works a little differently. If you have a Pinterest board, you'll need to go to that Pinterest board, copy the URL and place it here. That way, when we're looking at your property site, we will see the Pinterest icon there, like this. Let me demonstrate real quick so you understand that. So if Pinterest was there, Pinterest would show up here. All right, that's what causes these little widgets to show up. And I would do as many as you can. Um, oh, right, let's click next. On this next screen, this is where you can put in a biography. Tell us a little bit about yourself. What sets you apart in the industry? What you love about real estate? Just do a quick write-up. You can even add a commercial of yourself. If you have a commercial on YouTube, you can place the URL to your commercial here, and then your commercial will be on all the listings web pages that we build for you. 
then click. If you don't have it right now, just click next. Make sure that you have a headshot. It just reviews that information, then click next. Your logo will already be there. This is your company logo. If you're an independent agent, you could enter your own logo. Click next. Then you have the flyer section. The flyer's already been chosen by your brokerage. You won't be able to change it. Select current and next. Now, this gives you an opportunity to connect more social media here. If I were you, I would build yourself a blog and I would connect it. I would build yourself a YouTube channel and I would connect it. If you do just those two things there, that gives more exposure for you online. People can find you easier. Do you know why? Google owns these websites. Google owns YouTube. Google owns Blogspot. If you build yourself those and connect them, you can get more exposure when we search your name and we can find your listings easier. So I would do those things. Click next when you're done. Oh, I authorize, I'm connecting LinkedIn here. So if you want to connect LinkedIn, so for example, you have to click connect. Oh, actually it's Twitter. Click connect on Twitter, authorize the app, and that will connect your, well, I guess it was LinkedIn. That will connect LinkedIn for us right there. Then click next. Now you can tell us what information you want us to share with these websites. If you want us to share the YouTube video, you can select video. If you want us to share the property site, select the property site. If you want us to share both, select both. And you can tell us how often. Then click next. Now, this is a special tool that you have in your account. 24 hour home information line. This is what you want to put in the front yard of your property. We provide you with a phone number and extension for every listing. When people call that phone number and extension, they listen to recorded information about your property. Now, if you would like to make that recording personal, you can call into your sign, you can enter your extension, and then you can enter your lead B pin. You can record your own message right there. So when people call into the sign, they hear you talking about the property. This is our number one lead generating tool. And it's great that you can set it up with your own message. We do not sell the signs. The sign you'd have to provide for yourself through a independent sign dealer out in your area. But if you need to skip it, just skip it or put in a pin if you'd like. Next, make sure your communication is set up correctly here. Make sure that we have your email address. Make sure that we have a good phone number for you because this is where we're going to be sending leads that we get. Then click next. Next, we have statistics. We'll be sending those to you every Sunday to report how many people are looking at your listings and where they come from. Click next. You're done. You've done the agent setup wizard. It will literally take you about 10 minutes. And if you need help setting it up, I'll give you a phone number in a few minutes you can call to get help. Now, next time you log into your account, and you look at this social media, you'll start to be able to track the things that we've been doing for you, which is what's keeping us in business. Check this out. If I click on social media here, this is a common graph that you see in an agent's account. You can see her listings are the green marker here. You can see how many people have clicked on her listings. You can see other agents listings, marketplace listings that we've been sharing for her to Facebook. How many people have been clicking on her marketplace listings? You can see articles that we've been posting for her. You can also see holiday greetings that we've been posting. And of course you have custom post. You can actually set up your own post and we'll post it for you. Excellent. Now I want to show you once you've set this up, if you want to go in and modify or change things, you can right here in this toolbox, add or modify connections. You click on that. And if you didn't set up Twitter the first time and you want to go back and set it up, you can. You can set up LinkedIn, YouTube, Blogger. It's all done. You can go back to the dashboard. Look at this down here in the toolbox. If you want to pin one of your tours to Pinterest is not automated. So if you'd like to pin one of your listings to Pinterest, just click on that right there. Pinterest, 
and then just click pin it and it will help you create a board on Pinterest and it will put the listing there. It is very, it, real estate on Pinterest is hot. All right. Now, remember, remember corndog casserole story earlier and about that and how you could stop that if you wanted to? Well, here are listings, articles, and marketplace listings that are to come for this agent. If she wanted to click on the 30th here and say, oh, I'm going to get an article on healthy burgers. If she didn't like it, she could preview it. She could remove and replace it with a different article. That is very nice if you're very into you know certain articles and you don't want an article about something and you want to go in and simply replace it, you can. Uh, now, remember earlier I mentioned create your own post? Right here it says create a post. I click on that. If you found an article or even a picture or something like that that you want to share, you want us to post it for you, you can check mark these markers right here. You can copy and paste your URL, your .com article right here, and you can schedule it and we'll post it later, or you can post it right now. We'll post it for you. That's a great tool. I want to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to learn these tools. Like I said, this only needs to be done once, and then you're done. Please call this phone number if you need help setting up your account. But all it takes is about 10 minutes, and then everything that we can do that's automated for you gets done through the Agent Setup Wizard. We look forward to talking with you. 877-390-6630. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.